Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about NASA's official Armageddon office space. So I guess we should probably go ahead and have a little talk. Hmm? The larger comet is the size of New York City. If it can't be stopped, all life on Earth will perish. The United States government has just asked us to save the world. We're just the guys to do it. Good luck to us all. Picture. Messiah, this is Houston. Come Messiah. Uh, Houston, this is. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. Last summer. Two comets were discovered that are on a collision course with Earth. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about NASA's official Armageddon office space. Yeah, no, I know. Hold on. It sounds crazy. Sure. NASA's Armageddon office space? Surely. I have to be making this up, right? Right. No way, dude. A news asterisk source is legitimate as the Huffington Post has confirmed that NASA's Armageddon office aims to protect Earth from doomsday asteroids. The space agency has unveiled a new planetary defense coordination office. The smaller comets will hit first. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. And the planetary police are already in patrol. Okay, I'll do it. Uh... I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I took the red pill and still, this story gets me excited. Very, very excited. Why? Because I wouldn't mind commanding my own spaceship. And, uh, somehow this makes me feel like this office puts me one step closer to my spaceship. Now I know a lot of you people are probably all angry and you get all fuzzed up and wicked in the brain whenever you even hear the word NASA. I want to remind you that NASA is America's space agency. So technically, and metaphorically, we are all NASA. If we don't like NASA, we got to fix it. Now I know that is making you frown. I can feel it in my bones, Frankie. Frankly, but it's the truth. So perk up, buttercup. We just got called into action. We are Earth's best defense league. Astonishers. I'm telling you. At some point, I just became NASA's spirit animal. And that is good news for humans, animals, plants and flowers, oceans, lakes, trees. Sweet. All right. I've been trying to talk to some people about this story because I am so excited. But the negativity seems to keep dripping out. And man, when we start something new, that is not the time to go negative. So from this moment on, let us, astonishers, consider this our office. We can come up with a way better name than NASA's Armageddon office. Shouldn't it be like NASA's Armageddon Aversion office? You know, if, if it is if it is just called Armageddon office, that sounds like you're trying to bring about Armageddon. And I try to stay away from the NASA war document references as often as possible because that war document is creepy and every time I read it, I get sick. Okay, so the Huffington Post is telling you to rest a little easier tonight, Earthlings. New space has begun. I'm Captain Thor. I'm your captain. And yes, sometimes I can be repetitive. The Planetary Defense Coordination Office will oversee all of the space agency's efforts to detect and track near-Earth objects and coordinate with other federal agencies as well as other nations. And if and when becomes necessary. Okay, federal agencies and nations. What about the people, bro? What about the people, bro? I can be NASA's Armageddon Aversion Office Ambassador to the people. I can be the bridge between NASA and all those space agencies and defense people. And the people, the public. Yeah, I can do that. Totally. But you guys gotta be cool, man. Sometimes you guys can be a downer. Not all y'all. You know the ones I'm talking about. Like, no matter what I say, no matter what I do, it's, it's something always gonna be negative. Like, Fukushima! Yeah, I'm aware that Fukushima's melting our planet and radiating everything. But... I'm going top down here, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to fix the top problems before you can fix all the middle ones. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. The 100-year Earth Truce, a global jubilee, and the Planetary Defense Office for Armageddon Aversion. 
And somewhere the apocalypse is going to be here, Chris. The apocalypse just means the unveiling. And so, for things to get cool, at some point, we're going to have to know the truth. I think we all agree we don't have the total truth. I'm very excited to find it out. Flat Earth, Round Earth, man, I don't know. I can't confirm either one, you know? All I know is people are angry. When I go buy cigarettes at the convenience store, people are angry. When I'm out in traffic, people are angry. You know, the quality of living for all people, creatures, animals, has gone down severely in the last 15 years. The tables turn sometimes, so let's turn the ship around to more prosperous waters so we can scream, land ho again, as a human race, as a unit, as a team. That's the thing that I'm excited about. National lines are invisible lines drawn in the dirt and then fortified with blood and taxes. You understand that, don't you? National lines are invisible lines drawn in dirt and fortified with blood and taxes. Tradition and ritual. I'm just telling it like it is. So yeah, as the astonisher in charge at the moment, um, I would like to work with this office. You totally want to... Now... Sometimes people try to weigh me down with prophecy. Remember that prophecy is metaphor and that the ancient written word does not nullify the living word, if you understand. What you gonna do, print rules on a piece of paper and then keep that piece of paper for thousands of years? That sounds like an whatever, whatever idea, you know what I'm saying? The head of the department, Lindley Johnson, even has an awesome new title, Planetary Defense Officer. Wow. I wonder if he gets a cool battleship jacket. And NASA has been stepping up its efforts to protect the planet from a devastating impact. NASA has been stepping up its efforts to protect the planet from a devastating impact. Most recently, teaming up with the National Nuclear Security Administration to work on a plan to use nuclear weapons to deflect an asteroid. No disrespect, gentlemen, and I'm not aware of official team protocol, uh, for conversations and communications, but that's that's stupid. And why would you tunnel vision all your ideas into nuclear weapons and asteroids? For asteroids, you know? Magnetics, sonics, pressure. Because oxygen can't exist in space. So you can still use oxygen and pressure per square inch, pounds per square inch, to uh, move asteroids. You, got, you can use giant train track, nail, Rail guns. I mentioned magnetics, sonics, even water. You can use giant space squirt guns, harmonics. Let's see what else. You can send Richard Simmons to it, stand on it, and do jumping jacks. Okay, that was more of a joke. It was not a serious idea. If the agency and other organizations aren't able to deflect the celestial body, the celestial body, you're talking in present tense, man. Is there something? I need to know. I recognize that all this information is on a need to know basis, but please let me know all that I need to know to figure out all the variables to find the best possible solution to our global planetary problems. Help me help you. And I mean that to everybody, you know? See, I'm excited because something like this gives us a chance to see us all as one human race. We are all the children of God. We are all humans and that money and capitalism have really distorted our sense of worth, our sense of value, the meaning of all things, how we understand God, how we understand the universe. Money's fucked up all this shit, man. Like literally, like they printed our Holy Bible on paper. They printed the Quran on paper. They print your money on paper. And at times it's like everybody's imagination and heart is tied to that paper i'm just trying to say i'm just trying to say the living word is very strong too and so i need you the best you got your ideas your imagination your hard work let's all start working together to save and protect this planet this is asteroid fight club taking it up a notch party people are you ready are you superhero enough to save the day. Everybody wins. That's what we're talking about here. Everybody wins. It's an idea I planted in NASA's mind as their spirit animal. And it seems not only they, but even parts of Congress have caught on. So let us not give up hope. Space agencies are just like 
Hogwarts School of Wizardry and Witchcraft. You got your good teams, you got your bad teams, and you got your people who just want good grades and make money. And so, the good must outweigh the bad. And that is us. So we got to work harder, people. We got to come up with better ideas. We got to stay cool, stay calm, be patient, be forgiving, but still be strong in what we need to accomplish. All right. Well, okay. I'm going to have to. This is part one. All right. This is new asteroid fight club. NASA's Armageddon aversion off of space. Help wanted. We need people. Ideas. All right. God bless everybody. The future is what we make it. So let's make it awesome. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. We're taking it up a notch. Champions only. Nah, champions and privates. Let's make this spiritual warfare a whole lot more fun for everybody. That way we win. Okay. The United States government has just asked us to save the world. We're just the guys to do it. Good luck to us all.